I think we can, we can try to get started. Go for it. Hi. We're super excited to be here today because we're actually unveiling for the first time our technology right here at TED. We want to introduce you to a new medium we call Bubbles, and the technology that powers it we call Bubbly. So let's, let's dive right in. So here's a typical snapshot. We've all seen countless examples of these. What's missing from this picture, however, is context. You can't tell, for example, where this was taken. It's actually right outside here at TED. In a bubble, this environment is actually something that you can, you can see as you move around. So this is actually a bubble, and as I pan around, if it was working, you can actually see the entire space. All that context that was missing from the first picture is now contained in here. <laughs> but you can also link bubbles together to make experiences. We can go into the theater. Now we're going to be in your vantage point. This is actually inside where you are, the audience's bubble, so to speak. And again, it's a totally unbounded image. But these are real spaces. What about imaginary worlds? What about places we can't go in the literalist sense, like we read about in books? We built an example of that, and we chose a classic. This is Alice in Wonderland. No, sorry, you should be looking here. This is Alice in Wonderland, and if I tap on this, I come to an illustration. This is actually the climax of the story, where all of the characters turn into a deck of cards, and they rise up over Alice and awaken her from her dream. In our technology, all you need to do to access this space is just lift up your device, and now you jump into that space. Now you are in Alice's bubble, the point of view from a fictional character. Imagine sharing this with a child, where you could say, let's actually jump into where Alice is right now. So, uh, individual spaces can be, can be done, but what about like web browsing? What about a space that you would see if you're reading in an online newspaper? Well, this is the travel section. And in this case, it's a story about going to the Himalayas. But if you notice, right in line with the image is this magic window that the entire space right in there, you can visit there without having to go. So much of journalism is about trying to connect you to remote worlds through images, and bubbles uniquely do that. If you think about it, uh, they can all be like engines for empathy or catalysts for action, precisely because they're connecting you in a way that's never been done before. The point, in a sense, is leveraging point of view. So what really excites Ben and I is this chance to put the power of creating these bubbles in the hands of everyone. So when everyone gets involved, people start to communicate using these bubbles. So if you think for a moment about postcards, postcards are physical tokens of appreciation that say, hey, wish you were here. With bubbles, here takes on a whole new meaning. So I'll show you one example. This is a, a bubble that we took a uh, well, bubble that a friend of ours took when he went on a recent trip. <laughs> and what's particularly here. exciting about this bubble, and him saying, wish you were here, is that I can't actually go to where this is. So yeah, this is in Cuba. Me. As you can see, we're missing out on some pretty great stuff. But, you know, bubbles are about more than just transcending your boundaries. Uh, bubbles are also about bringing you closer to moments at home that matter. So, for example, I want you to think about your favorite memory, say your Christmas morning as a child or your first day birthday party. Close your eyes and visualize that. You can look up, down, around, in all directions, and that memory surrounds you. With bubbles, we can do the same thing. So here I am in my living room after Thanksgiving. I've captured everybody all sitting around listening to my aunt and uncle sing. We've taken them, the audio out because they're a little bit out of tune. So, this is, this is just the beginning. We're seeing a lot of this evolve as we go. So let me show you briefly one last, second to last example. So here we are. This is the view from a salt and pepper shaker, which has never been done before, <laughs> which I think is quite cool. And uh, so nobody had to get up and try to fit into this rectangle. And, and so it left the mood intact. And this is the begin only beginning. We're doing audio. We're getting geodata and building this collective picture of the Earth with bubbles. And finally, so you're probably asking, how do we do this? And the answer is just your phone. So everything that I've shown you has been done on a phone. 
And actually, while Terence was up talking, I captured the experience of being here on stage at TED. Let's see if we can get this. I don't think he has it. I have it. Oh, you do? Really? All right, well, he has it too. So, we've captured the collective experience, not just Terence and I on stage, but all of you here sharing this space so that anyone with internet access can now go online and relive the experience of being here. So as Terrence said, this is the first time we've shown anybody any of this, but we could not be more excited and thrilled to be showing it all in front of you. Thank you.